I'm Michelle Spiller and I'm here to tell you all about MEPM's upcoming event where you can watch your friends dance their pants off. And I'm AJ Freed, ready to share about the cheerleading championships. And I'm Rocco Law, and I've got this week at MEPM Sports. I'm Mike Daniels and I have your weekend forecast. These are the BB morning announcements for Friday, February 15th. Good morning, Mepham. Today is day one. Please rise to the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, the United States, States of America, America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First up is the cheerleading championships. Last weekend, the Mepham varsity cheerleading team won their first place at their competition. The girls will be performing in their final regular competition at Glen Cove High School this weekend and are headed to counties this following weekend. Good luck, Pirates. Hey, AJ, are cheerleaders dancers? I would think so. Well, that means they're suited to participate and so they think they can dance. Coming up on Thursday, February 28th, it's quite possibly the most exciting event of the school year. The teams have already been made and everyone has been working hard to put their best performance on and possibly win the competition. Tickets cost $5 and all proceeds will go toward the Long Island champion Beth of the Kickline team. Wait, did you say Kickline? Good to know you were listening. Well, you know what's better than talking about Kickline? Talking to Kickline. In this week's Around Campus, Ava Scheffler from BMB talks to senior Gabby Daza of the Kickline team to know more about this awesome event. Hi, I'm Ava Scheffler, and this week on Around Campus, we're sit we sit down with senior Gabby Daza, who is a member of the Long Island Champion Mepham Kickline team. So welcome, Gabby. Hi. Gabby, you're here to talk about the upcoming So They Think You Can Dance event. For, so for the freshmen who've never heard of it, or for kids who've never been, what is So They Think You Can Dance? It's basically a big dance competition with eight teams that go up against each other with kids from all different friend groups and all different grades in the school. Um, and we just compete against one another. It's really, really fun. It's really, really funny, and you should definitely come out and see it. Are there winners, and who do you think is going to win? There are winners. There's four categories, um, so there's two dances for each category, and so the dances of the same category go head-to-head, -head. Um, and then there's one overall winner out of all of the eight dances who's the grand champion. Um, I'm a little biased. I think my team's going to win. They really believe in us, so yeah, my team's going to win. <coughs> my team's going to win, so... Why should people go to So They Think They Can Dance? It's really fun. It's really funny. I, it supports my fun kick line, which I'm also a little biased towards. But it's just like a good experience. It's another fun thing to go to, like Mr. Mepham, and it's always good to, to get involved. Okay. Gabby, you're also a member of Mepham's varsity kick line. An amazing season, by the way. <laughs> what happens next for the kick line? Um, so we're just doing the remaining basketball games, and then after that, kick line's over forever for me. But for all of the leftover teammates who are still um, going to do it next year, there's open gyms probably starting in April. And if you're interested in trying out, you could just look at the Muffin Kickline Insta page for more details. So there you have it. Thanks, Gabby. I hope everyone turns out next Thursday for vacation. So <laughs> after vacation, for so they think they can dance. It sounds like a great time. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ava. So did you forget to register for the March 9th SAT? Well, don't worry, because you still have time for the late registration for the March 9th SAT exam. It is Wednesday, February 27th. You can register online at collegeboard.com or by phone. Once again, if you haven't registered yet, it's now or never. I love now or never. That's my favorite song. You know, Zac Efron sings that while he's playing basketball. And, and the stop talking about basketball. Only Rocco can do that. Speaking of, here's Rocco Law to talk, to talk to you about sports. The sports week started off last Saturday when the girls' Dorothy basketball team took on Great Neck South for a chance to share the 2019-81 conference title with Garden City. A back and forth battle in the first half, but the Pirates eventually broke away in the third quarter. Julia Ronson, who wasn't even in the state when the day started, led all scores with 22 points, while Caroline Keene added 13 of her own. The Lady Pirates opened the playoffs on the road tonight as a 10th seed, visiting 7th seed in Manhattan. Moving on to the boys, the Pirates faced off against MacArthur for the third time this season in the first round of the Nassau County playoffs. In a loud and thrilling night, the Pirates were dominant in the first half on the hot shooting of Jack Fontanetta, who led all scores with 19 points. However, the Generals crept back in the second half, 
forcing overtime on Max Schimmel's game time three pointer. In OT, junior Greg Pohl and senior Kieran Gilroy combined for 11 points and its Pirates 67 63 win. The 15 seed Pirates traveled to Lindbergh on Saturday to battle the second seed of the Owls. Finally, this past weekend was the county wrestling championships and the Pirates were well represented. Senior Kyle Alton and, Matt, and junior Matt Haggai both won their weight classes and will travel to the state championships in two weeks at Albany. Alton is Memphis' first time, first four time all county wrestler and finished the year an amazing 24 0. Joining Alton and Haggai, also earning all county eyes, were Matt's brother Ryan and Sears Jack Malloy and John Coney. Overall, the team placed fifth in the Section 8 finals, their highest placement in five years. That's your week of Memphis Sports. I'm Rafa Lua. Thanks. While kids and teachers count down the hours until February break, BB's Casey Farr takes a deeper look into why we have this break and what people will be doing with it. By this time of year, it may be even colder than it was for the last school break. The February break is a nice week off in the third bargain quarter that allows students to reflect on life and, yes, the presidents, which is what 11th grader Melanie Senra said was a focal point of the break. The importance of February break is to, uh, to give us a break and it's also to celebrate President's Day, which is actually an important holiday. And I think pe more people like are forgetting that February break is about President's Day. Never mind the past and even the students. Some people just want to relax. Just ask Mr. G, who finally gets some time to get some ample rest. Uh, usually, I think most of us teachers use that week to not only catch up on work we're behind with, but maybe also to actually like sleep in, which is really great. The February break officially starts after school on February 15th, and students come back to school on the 25th. From BMB, I'm Casey Farr. Thanks, Casey. I had no idea February break had anything to do with the presidents. Now, to find out what kind of weather we will be enjoying this February break, here's BMB's chief meteorologist, Mike the Storm Daniels. Hey man, but hope you all had a good week. Now let's take a look at your week in forecast. For today, expect mostly sunny skies throughout the day with a warm out for this time of year with a high temperature in the upper 40s. For tonight, it's going to get colder after a cold front comes through. Expect mainly clear skies with a low temperature in the lower 30s. For your Saturday, expect sunny skies with a high temperature in the upper 30s. For Saturday night, expect clear skies which will be in seasonable with a low temperature in the upper 20s. For Sunday, expect mostly sunny skies with a high temperature right around 40. For Sunday night, expect cloudy skies with a low temperature in the mid-30s. I am watching the chance for some light to moderate snow or rain Monday and then another storm for Wednesday, but it's too early to say what type of precipitation it will have. So stay tuned and have a wonderful break, Methel. Thanks, Mike. And now for today's quote of the day. The gift that we can offer others is so simple a thing as hope. Now in a bit of self-promotion, B&B's BC3 class recently took on the Peter McKinnon B-Roll Challenge. The audience has voted and it's time to announce a winner. Penny Frank Hughes, congratulations. Everyone's very proud and the lucky winner of the I Get My Weather from the Storm t-shirt is Miss Sparky Fury. Congratulations. Please stop by the studio to collect your prize. These have been the B&B morning announcements for Friday, February 15th. Have a great day, Matt, and have a great vacation. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself.